Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to be taking a look at some more up and coming render fixes that are going to be applied to Yuzu Emulator and Super Mario Odyssey in the coming days. As you can see, this build is labelled as dirty, which basically means that it is not a bad build, it is just very rough around the edges and contains some very experimental stuff that developers are working on. So as I said, in this video we're going to be taking a look at some of that experimental stuff in Super Mario Odyssey. Even in this initial booting screen, you can see that our performance has straight away jumped up to 100% and 60 frames per second. When we get loaded into the actual continue menu, you can see that while our performance does initially drop down to around 15 frames per second, as soon as everything is loaded into our main menus, we are jumping back up to the mid to high 40s. So yeah, as you can see guys, performance is very good in these menus and render quality is pretty much the best we have seen it yet in Yuzu Emulator. We are also not able to see the fonts in any of these menus due to the fact that shared fonts, while they are implemented in Yuzu and also implemented in Ryujinx, I believe, they are not currently rendering due to an unimplemented function. So once again, we're just going to load into Sand Kingdom like we've done countless times before, and you can see that this time I didn't have to speed up any footage in order to get us through this loading screen. Now all we need to do is wait for it to load into game and we are going to see some very, very cool graphical upgrades in Yuzu Emulator and Super Mario Odyssey. And there we go! You can now see that parts of Mario are now being correctly rendered, well, I'm not going to say correctly rendered, but they have some of their texture formats implemented, which means that they are actually rendering in game. Now, not only have certain formats been introduced to make Mario render, but you can also see that on the Odyssey ship, parts of it are now also being correctly rendered. Mostly, these are light sources, which makes me wonder if the images we're seeing on Mario, and if we just quickly turn our camera and take a look down into the main hub area of Sand Kingdom, you can also see that there are light sources also being rendered down there. So not only do we have all of these new rendered items, but we have in fact seen a fairly significant performance increase. You can see that I am getting anywhere between 5, 7 and at times later on in the video you're going to be seeing I'm going to be getting 14 to 15 frames per second, which makes it, well, not exactly impossible to navigate the world, but it definitely makes it a lot more playable to interact, especially considering we can now actually see Mario in practically well, just as I say it, we can see Mario in practically all of these different gameplay situations. It definitely makes traversing the world a lot easier when you can see the main character. So let's just try to interact. Does this work? It does work. And that's pretty cool as well. You can see, yep, you can see down in the bottom right hand corner that we are getting 13 frames per second in this game, running at 23% speed. Okay, so let's just try to skip through this cutscene and we are going to just try to navigate off to the left hand side of the main hub area of Sun Kingdom. So yeah, let's just try to jump and try not to hit anything. I know there's little small walls just in this area, so I'm going to try do all the highest jumps I possibly can so I can miss them. Now, I could technically use snapshot mode to enable me to see well, not loads more, but I would be able to see quite a bit better. But uh, yeah, I don't really want to interrupt the gameplay because I just want to show you what the uh, what the performance levels are like. Now, you also need to remember that while I do have an 8700K, most users that have used this build and have tested performance are getting practically the same performance as me, ranging in and around 5 to 15 frames per second. So we're not sure if it is a CPU or a JIT related issue, why I'm not getting very good performance or much improved performance on my 8700K. There must be some kind of bottleneck somewhere in the Yuzu subsystems that are making higher end CPUs and GPUs. Well, I guess GPUs aren't actually going to get uh, get utilized due to the fact that some of you may have seen in the past few months Citra Retreat Citra emulator itself released a GPU accelerated build and that has indeed become kind of the norm in Citra now where GPUs are used for rendering shaders whereas at the minute in Yuzu emulator the CPU is being used to render practically all of the shaders in your games. So yeah, you can now see that running outside on the far side of Sun Kingdom's hub area we're getting 
between 10 and 14 frames per second, which to be honest, not many people would consider playable, but when you consider the fact that I have played Bayonetta 2 now on Yuzu emulator at 3 frames per second for probably about 6 hours now to progress to the 5th chapter where I am currently, and when Breath of the Wild was only just playable on CMU emulator and I didn't have as good a CPU as I do now, I finished that game I believe playing it at around 6 to 7 frames per second, which was a which was an accomplishment, I think, in and of, its, in and of itself. So, um, yeah, so once we get to this area, it's pretty cool to see that you can see the Odyssey fully rendered and, well, not fully rendered, obviously, but you can see that it is no longer Vertex Exploded. And when we come to our screenshot mode, we're just going to pan this around and uh, take a look down into Sand Kingdom using some of, these, uh, some of these filters in the camera, or not camera mode, screenshot mode. It is screenshot mode, I believe it's called. So yeah, you can see that, uh, yeah, we've all seen this before. We've seen screenshot mode. I've showed it off in like two or three of my videos already in Super Mario Odyssey. You can see in the background along this kind of, not, yeah, it is a skyline. You can see that there are some exploded vertices back there, but they don't, well, I'm guessing they don't interfere with gameplay. Who knows, maybe there is something stopping light coming through that is making everything appear black in the game world. I guess we won't know until they actually fix it and uh, this game becomes playable. So yeah, that's um, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys in this video. Some of these uh, some of these cool new render fixes that you are going to be seeing in the next few canary builds of Yuzu Emulator itself. So yeah, once again guys, cheers for checking out this video. Remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and as always, subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.